What is going on everybody? Welcome to the third footies video that we have on this channel. Not sure when this is uploaded. Could be July 25th. I think it's July 25th. But today I am bringing you a full footies club with every single footies card in it. So we went out and bought every single nominee, including the very expensive ones, which we will get into in a second. The uh, entire footies, which is 44 pink cards, ended up costing us well over 1,300,000 coins. But let's go ahead and get into this club tour. But before we do that, be sure to drop a like on the video. 1.3 million coins was a lot. So if you guys could like the video, that would be very much appreciated. Also, subscribe if you're new to the stream for daily FIFA 16 and FIFA 17 content. Here we go into the club tour. We've got David Silva to start it off, guys. He was 55,000 coins, obviously, in the category of the Maestros. He's not going to win it, most likely. Otsel and De Bruyne are more likely to win it. Those are pretty close, though. Let me know in the comment section below, do you guys think Otsel or De Bruyne is going to win the Maestro category? It's got to be one of those two. It's not going to be David Silva or Pjanic. It's got to be Otsel or De Bruyne. But anyway, speaking of Otsel, we've got him here. He was 67,000 coins, which was really surprising considering De Bruyne was 206 thousand coins which is crazy ridiculous for an 86 rated non-upgraded card but since a lot of people think he might get the upgrade that's why he's so expensive plus he doesn't have a team in this season and the pink card would be his highest rated card Next, we've got Cavani, 85 rated here. He was 21,000 coins, and um, obviously striker in the Liga Union. You could link with Ben Yedder's pink card and maybe get something going chemistry-wise, but I'm not a huge fan of Cavani this year. Using him at center attacking mid is all right, but moving on to the next player is Loris. He is uh, most likely to win the goalkeeper brick wall one. However, Leno and Handanovic are actually very close behind as well. Um, you know, the, the, that's a toss-up. It's going to be either Loris, Leno, or Handanovic um, winning that one. It's not going to be Ter Stegen. Um, anyways, we got John Terry, who is a part of the one-man club, even though he was loaned out from Chelsea for a couple of years. Um, there he is right there. And then we've got Leno's 84-rated card for Bayer Leverkusen, Handanovic, obviously. And then Buffon, who's not a part of the brick wall category. He's actually a part of the one-man club one, which makes not much sense, considering that he was at Parma for five to six years. But there's Buffon right there, and he's got an 84-rated card, obviously, so he'll probably be around 88-rated if he ends up getting the one-man club but it's probably going to end up being Totti. Moving on to the next page, we've got the likes of Pjanic. Not going to win his category, but pretty cool pink card there for Juventus that you can link with Mandzukic and Kadira. Juventus had a lot of nominees, and so did a lot of the Serie A as well. You know, Roma, um, Inter Milan, as you can see there with Perisic. Um, the BPL and the Serie uh, were were all over the nominees. They're all over the nominees. Over half of the nominees are from the BPL or Serie A, maybe up to maybe 75% are BPL or Serie A. Um, couple, you know, here and there, Bundesliga, La Liga, but a lot of BPL in Serie A. And then we've got De Rossi, who's not going to win his category, but pretty cool card nonetheless. Um, and then we got Ericsson from the BPL. Um, now, one mistake I made in our best possible footy squad builder, we used Ericsson, but we actually could have ended up using Otsel or David Silva or even De Bruyne, and we actually can substitute any of those BPL center attacking mids and still get full chemistry. You can check out that video in the info section or the description below. I mean, click that link, follow it to the best possible possible footy squad builder. Anyways, Luis Gustavo next. He's one of the few Bundesliga players that got nominated, and I really like this card. Um, so him getting an upgrade, because he doesn't really have too many special cards, if any, in FIFA 16. I would love to see that. Obviously, here we got Kadira. He's a good investment, because I think he's definitely going to win the get stuck in category for the footies, and he's going to get upgraded. So I like the Kadira card. Pretty solid. We'll see what he gets upgraded to. And then we got Perisic. He's most likely not going to win it. He's got it for the two-footed master, obviously. He's got that five-star weak foot. And then we've got Ter Stegen, who was a part of the brick wall, but he was in the last in the vote that we put on Twitter. You can check out what players the community is voting for um, by checking out another video I'm going to put in the description. It's going to be um, the footies winners of the votes that I put on Twitter, so you can get a very good, you know, accurate 
um, representation of what the community is really leaning towards. Now, there were a couple of close votes where you can't really tell, but there were some that were complete blowouts, and Kadira was actually one of them, um, where, where you know, he won by quite a bit over, you know, Catermol De Jong and Luis Gustavo, so he's probably going to get up, going to end up getting one. You can check out all the categories on that video in the description below. But, we've got Chicharito, who is in the classes permanent category with Eto, Diara, and Ben Arfa. Diara has no chance, but the other three are a very big toss-up. A lot of the Mexican Mexican community wants uh, Chicharito here, so we'll see who ends up winning that one, but cool card nonetheless. Adariz for the headers category. Um, obviously, he's one of the few La Liga players that we've got. There's maybe three or four La Ligas that were nominated, I think. Anyways, onto the third page, we've got Willian, who's going to win his category for the skill, uh, not the Skiller's Delight, but he's going to win the Engine Room uh, category, most likely. So, Willian is a good investment. He was actually 68,000 coins, so decently expensive car, but it's probably going to go up once he gets that footy upgrade. Um, maybe go up to 85 rated, especially because he doesn't have any other cards. Then we've got Diara, who got 1% of the votes when we sent out that vote on Twitter, and has no chance of getting upgraded, but a lot of people say he's a tank in FIFA, so we got him, and then we've got Nani, who is actually surprisingly expensive, 50,000 coins. We got a deal on him, too. He was like 65k, um, but I sniped him for 50k, um, but 82 rated. He's in the skillers category. He is the only one that has a chance of really beating Belasi, but Belasi is favored to win the skillers delight category. We've got Hernandez here. He is a part of the pot shots category, um, and Chalanoglu is actually favored to win that one. He's in second, but not a really close second at all. Probably not going to get an upgrade. But another Juventus player nonetheless. Um, and then we've got De Jong, the only MLS player that was nominated. And he is, you know, dirty player. Not going to not gonna win his category. So, um, just De Jong. Moving on. Ben Arfa, very expensive card here. 72,000. And I would really, really like him to win the classes permanent category because he did get transferred to PSG. And I would love to see a special card from Ben Arfa at PSG, especially a big upgrade like the footies will probably be. Then we've got Slimani here for the headers. He's got 87 physical, obviously. He'd have a pretty sick card if he did get the footy. But I think he has a team of the season card anyways. At least he has a couple man of the match cards and pretty cool upgrade special cards already. So if he doesn't get a pink card, you can still use his informs and other special cards. Totsi is actually very likely to win his category. Now, despite already getting, you know, his I Man in the Match team of the tournament, not the team of the tournament, but the hero I Man in the Match, you know, after getting that, he's probably got his highest rated card that we're going to see from him. We're not going to see a 93 rated Totsi, but we can see maybe like an 85 Totsi. Um, but here's his card here, and he is a part of the one-man club, and he's probably going to win that category. Here's Eto, who got quite a bit of votes, especially being in the Super League, obviously, one of the most legendary players. Um, once he retires, you can see a legend card from him, uh, playing at Barcelona, obviously, during his career. Very, very talented striker, um, but he's getting old, playing in the Super League. Wouldn't really like to see this card at all because of him being in the Super League and being cam from Cameroon, but... Because of his name, he does have a lot of votes. Into the next one, we got Milner, who's a part of Engine Room. And Milner is, he's got some votes. I think he's in second behind Willian, but Willian definitely going to win that one, man. All right, onto the fourth page, we've got Dayong. Um, the first Dayong of the votes. This Dayong is for the um, head first. I believe. This is Luke De Jong. He's in the head first category, and he is not going to win it no matter what. He's from the Eredivisie, the, the Netherlands League there, so not a crazy good card. Quagliarella, another Serie A player playing for Sampdoria here, and he's not going to win his category, but another Serie A player you could use to link up. Then we've got Januzovic, another, he's from Werder Bremen, another Bundesliga player here. Um, he's not going to win his category either, so moving on to the next one. we got Ben Yedder, who's a two-footed master, along with Eriksen Paris such and Kroos. Erickson's winning that category, but Ben Yedder might make the upset. I could see him maybe winning it, but I think Erickson's probably going to win the two-footed master one. Then we got Chalinoglu, who's a good investment. We got him for 34,000 coins, and he's by far the most popular on the pot shots, so definitely the community wants him. Unless EA are rigging these votes, it's for sure going to be Chalinoglu in the footies upgrades. Sigurdsson, also in the pot shots, not going to win it, obviously. And he's in the BPL, so you could link him in some places from Iceland, um, but not a crazy card at all. I don't really like it. Only three-star skills as well. Moving on to Belasi, who's a good investment, I think, because I think he'll get it. 42,000 coins. You know, crazy 
crazy, crazy good card already, especially for a 77 rated card. Ridiculously good. But once he gets that footy upgrade, man, that card's going to skyrocket. 42,000 now. He's going to be super expensive. Balassi is a great investment. Maxime is the next player here. He's in the skillers and he's not going to win it, but another Bundesliga player. So there's a couple more Bundesliga players than I initially anticipated, but we've got Maxime here. Five-star skills, average card otherwise. Moving on to the next one, Catermol, the joke of the footies every year. Last year, he was put in to one of the footies categories. This year, he is in the um, category of get stuck in for the center defensive mid category, and he's not going to win it. It's going to be Kadira in a it's not Kadira, it's, it's Luis Gustavo, but most likely Kadira. So, not Catermol. And then McGeady, who is at um, Everton again. I don't know, I can't remember where he went, but he wasn't in the BPL for a little bit. But he's back at Everton, so we got another BPL player here. And he is going to be a little bit more expensive because he hasn't really gotten any upgrades this year. His green card was at the other team in, you know, some shitty league. And this one's at Everton. So, we can see, if we see an upgrade from McGeady, that would be dope, but it's not going to happen because he's got the likes of Nani and Balassi and his cat category, and it's going to be Belasi winning that one. And for the final four players, we've got these guys who are in the most improved category. We've got Mares, Vardy, Dyer, and Dali Ali. And Mares is most likely to win this category, according to your guys' votes on Twitter. And Vardy with the second. Unfortunately, um, the meme he has become is not enough to win this one, but we could see an upset. We might see him win it. Um, but Mares most likely here, and then we've got Dyer and Alley. But Mares is already quite expensive, 86,000 coins for him. Vardy was 50k. Vardy's one of the players that you're going to want to sell if you have him. Sell him immediately. He's only going to go down. Mares, he's probably going to win the category, so he could go up. But with him already having a lot of special cards, his team of the season, he's limited to how high he's going to go up in price. Anyways, guys, that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to slap a like right now. Again, let's go for 100 likes today. And be sure to subscribe if you guys haven't yet. I appreciate the support. We've been on that YouTube grind. I think we've got 12 videos in 12 days now. So that's freaking awesome, guys. Thank you so much for your continued support. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.